Hello guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. First of all, let me start off with an apology for the last episode I posted. Which had no audio on it whatsoever, I've got no idea what happened. All my audio devices seem to be working properly, I can only assume it was shadow play acting up. Uh, this continues into the next episode as well. There was 30 minutes there I recorded and that has gone by the wayside. Uh, so I'm trying to recall what, what I did in that last episode. I know for a fact we got the dog at the graveyard to smell the smelly panties. <laughs> I remember doing that and I remember that uh, it took us no further in the quest. In the murder quest, uh, what update as well, we went back to the docks and talked to the sailors there and they have joined the uh, captain now so I think apart from that we need to go back here out into the world I think so we'll do that now oh we had the first fight here outside as well we did that as well in the last episode that they didn't record any audio. And the one before that I did actually post, I think you saw that we picked up Wolfgren. I think he's called Wolfgren, is he? Yeah. Wolf, Wolfgraf. Okay. Uh, I'll put those on his, on his bar. That's better than what he's using, so we'll equip that. Those bony Fight, will never that Keep that just in case I decide to make him a, a ranged. I've not decided yet. Right, so let's see if we can find ourselves some trouble out in the world. Have a quick check around. What's that? Splitting more one-handed weapon. Let's have a look at that, just in case. 22 to 44, that's better than what I'm using. Uh, I shall equip that. And we need to get a level up before we can use that one. Right, let's have a look around here. This is where we had the fight last time. And we have some trouble here, so let's get ourselves ready for this. Oh, that's the well that we could have come up through after we picked up Wolfgraf. Wolfgraf, Wolfgraf, I think it is. Just to show you. There we go. This is where we picked him up. Right, oh, some bees here. Let's check these before we go any further. Might be something in these beehives. Okay. Diary, we'll have that. Two-handed weapon, broad skull, we don't need that. Alright, let's so look at this diary. My dog's trying to warn me of the horrors that surrounded. I heard their savage snarling, their fearsome growls. My toxa and Sheba, the banes of would-be burglars, scared. But a series of small stomach-churning yelps, I need everything. As the night falls, I'm alone and I dare not leave. Peering from a chink in the curtain, I saw Tox and Sheba's silhouettes prowling the yard. My pups, my friends, they live, but I cannot open the door, not yet. I shall wait for the light of the sun to return before I brave the waking nightmare. Days come when I dare to venture outside and the zombies appear to be gone for the present. Toxa and Sheba have greeted me with tails wagging and ears lowered. My old friends, as not yet. But as they approached their green, sickening light in their eyes told me they were changed. 
something is growing inside them. The wretched zombies have taken their true souls, infected them with whatever unnatural, outworldly power governs the undead. I feel, I fear what they will become, and I can't aim a spear at my own friends. At least the zombies will leave them alone. Well, that's very true, the zombies will leave them alone. Now the question is, shall we? According to his diary, the bloke couldn't put down his dogs even after he knew they were infected. Who could bear to harm his best friend, especially when they only showed signs but no symptoms of turning? The sentimental fool, I guess he preferred being killed in his sleep than euthanizing his little darlings. I tend to agree, I mean they didn't to attack they didn't attack us, so they've obviously not turned. So I'm gonna take the chance. And Jules says he would be let infected bees spread their sickness is a sentimental fool. And so I'm compassionate and she's heartless. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, missed that bone pile. Alright. Alright, let's go and have a fight, eh? See if we can make up for the loss of the last episode. Oops. See if that can initiate combat. Yes. Um, right, but we need to leave you out here for at least until they get close. Put a fast track on. Can we see? No, we can't. Uh, so right, let's move you forward a little bit. Have your face in the right direction as well, that helps. Give the spider some strength. I've got a feeling they might start coming around that way, so let's just move him to here for the start and see what they do. Let's get a reaction from the zombies come skellies. Likewise with Jahan. Let's move on up. We'll send you in, Spidey. Damn it. Okay, he's not going to last very long, is he? Hmm. That's a bit disappointed, only one attack. Now come on skills and zombies, I need that's better. I need you to run out and confront me. That's the way. Let's 
bonk him on the head. <laughs> Go on, one more. Damn it. Okay. Wasn't what I meant to do, but what the hell, eh? Finish him off. Nice. Spidey down. Ouch. Move you back here. Alright, oh, got someone spidey again. Or the attack, the attack. Could be. Um. Give him something to go for. I don't know. That's one stunned. Oh, nice. <laughs> Smoking dagger. Oh, it's not good. Don't want him there. Right about now, I'm missing the archer. I think we might have to change it back. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Need a heal on him from Jahan. Come on, Augury, you can take it. Right, well, you. Yes, I know he's poisoned. Where's Backstab? Oh. Hell, just hit him. Nice. Heal on Jahan. So you can stun that. Yes.
two action points. I won't got Okay. Can I use a potion? No. Okay. Drink a portion first of all. Move him over here. Stunned again. Ideal. Oops. Damn it. This is resurrect poor uh, squirrel gun as well. Ouch. Just heal up. Nothing much to pick up either, that's a bit of a shame. Leather armor. Dexterity six. Oh, resurrect school. Thank you very much. Put that back there. Legionnaire's orders. Let's read those in a second. Okay, very nice. Anything else? Uh, mortar and pestle. Yes, we'll have that. Take that. Well, let's check those orders. Investigate the lighthouse, a potential hotbed on dead activity, eliminate any undead and report the findings back to base. Okay, so he's died on his way there, the scaredy pact. We found some of the Legionnaires Aureus mentioned, 
but they are already dead. We'll keep looking for survivors. Okay, we will. But we will probably do that next episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is all Grey, signing off. Thank you.